All right, we're in round one. Our opponent's playing a 50-card deck, which is surprising. This hand is good. Might as well start with the white mana, although it's only because we need double white for console's lieutenant. But even if we had lieutenant, we couldn't play it anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Still going to start with the leaf gilder here. If I don't draw a land next turn, the question becomes, do I want to play Visionary to hope to find it? And I think the answer is yes. I want to hit my, my land drops here. All right, well, don't have to worry about that. So I think we're just going to swing and then play Chief of the Foundry. Let's see if we get clashed. No. Okay. Claustrophobia, not so bad against us, especially since we have Naturalist in hand and Mighty the Masses. So let's go Visionary first. See if we hit our land for a second Visionary. We do not. So I guess we just swing. And then pass. No play. It's surprising. Alright. So we can go Tactician, but I think I'd rather set that up for next turn. I'm going to play Visionary again. Actually, this is interesting. I could tap Visionary in a way that lets me play Lieutenant, but then I can't play Might or Titanic Growth if he has a Flash creature like Bounding Crisis. So I think I would rather just play a Visionary... Oh, he did get the Lieutenant, which is a bummer, but uh, there's a chance that he has the Bounding Crisis here, in which case, like I said, I'd rather have the the Might of the Masses as well. Do I even care about, about Nivix Barrier? Not especially. Yeah, so I guess I do bust it. I still have a pump. I think we actually use Titanic Growth because Might of the Masses gets better next turn anyway. And if I draw a land, I can go Tactician Might. Yeah, I guess we go Growth. Not the best trade I've ever had. So if I'd known it was that instead of a Bounding Crisis, I would have left the double white open for Lieutenant. But... I wanted to be able to do a combat trick that turn. And this is Pilgrimage. All right. Not terribly intimidated by that. It would have been nice to have a post-combat lieutenant. I'm not going to lie. Just in case he's got Clash, pre-combat, play the land. I don't think we have lethal, but I can give plus five, plus five. We're going to save the Might until it's lethal, especially since he could have Disperse. Which it looks like he does. That's alright. Still get four damage in. Pass the turn. I've got Naturalist as well for Claustrophobia. Which I could have done this turn. Instead of the Tactician. But that's okay. Guy has Revenge. Not actually very intimidated by that as it turns out. Um, 
Um, so, I mean, I could pump and trade, but I think I'd rather just take eight here. So six mana, what does that let me do? Let's me play Lieutenant plus Chief plus Might of the Masses. Which, is that actually lethal? Plus six. So five plus six. No, we're actually one short of lethal. I think I play it anyway, since he's tapped out especially. So if he has Stratus Walk plus Pump Spell, we're dead. Oh, can't be the target of non-green spells or abilities from non-green sources. So he can't even target it with Stratus Walk, I guess. But um, we're just going to chump block it to make sure we don't die. We'll chump it with the Chief. All right. So let's see if opponent goes back down to a 40-card deck, because I must admit I'm kind of surprised he's playing a 50-card deck. Does not seem necessary. I mean, Aerial Volley would be pretty... Well, I would say pretty speculative. Usually when I'm against blue, I would just slam play an Aerial Volley, but our opponent's deck looked a bit confusing. I wasn't sure exactly what was going on the whole time with it. Um, it could have been he just had a really slow start, which is possible. I think, uh, yeah, and other than Aerial Volley, we really don't have a sideboard plan, so I think we're just going to keep it the same and try again. I don't really like this hand, even on the draw. No pressure, ton of lands. I think we're going to mulligan, hope to do better than that. All right, this hand is like a thousand times better. Despite not having a green mana, this hand is still much better. All right, well, that problem solved. Still going to do the lieutenant first because renown is important. Disperse? He's thinking about it. I feel like there was just enough pause there where he was thinking about Disperse. So this is where we could get Bounding Crasis, I suppose. But uh, we'll, I guess we'll make him do it. Maybe should have played the green mana first. All right. Totally brutal. So... Complete blowout. The card I play around in game one is the one that blows me out in game two. That's pretty frustrating, actually. It's pretty frustrating. I can't lie. This would be a perfect time to cast Celestial Flare. Oh, that's right. I don't have it. Bummer. All right. So we play Undercity Troll. Which also cannot get in, but... Losing that lieutenant hurts, I can't lie. That hurts pretty bad. All right. We're going to take a bit of a bounding crisis beat down for a while. I don't want to cast suppression bonds on it yet. Grasp. All right, let's visionary first. Might of the masses. Well, not all that exciting yet, but not too bad. All right, may have to do the suppression bonds here, depending on what he plays, of course. Could slam like a rock smaller, in which case I'd rather... 
do that. Oof, that's an ugly draw, I can't lie. Alright, let's uh, try and suppression bonds here. Could have dispersed and then recast it. Maybe I should have attacked first, actually. Alright. Not too intimidated by that. Don't think Nivix Barrier is all that good of a card anyway. It's got all these flash creatures. It's interesting. Grasp and Drag Invocation, just not very attractive cards at the moment. All right, well, land's actually okay. Works us towards that uh, Sentinel of the Eternal Watch. I guess I play Grasp here. Pushes damage through. If he wants to disperse my Visionary... Actually, I like that and more anyway. I think I like that more than me resolving a grasp. I just feel like I want to be doing something. See if we got a counter. Gonna make them have it. Bone Ash. That's a harsh one. Oh, Clash of Wills. Alright, well. Not as harsh. Still harsh, of course. Will Breaker. All right. Well, I'm going to try and kill that. Oh no, his last card was Disperse. What a bummer. Yeah, that's a bummer. Oh, actually worse. He gets to steal everything. Harsh. Alright, well, that was harsh. I think it all uh, went downhill after that Bounding Crisis, sadly. Yeah, his last card being Send to Sleep directly after a Will Breaker, that, that is absolutely brutal. Yeah, sadly, Will Breaker is pretty busted against us because we just have a severe lack of removal in this deck. He's using my own graphs to steal stuff. I forgot about that. That's funny. My own grasp is becoming my own worst enemy. The funny thing is I never play grasp with a higher mancer too. So it's like twice as maddening right now to lose against a card that I rarely play. I don't know why he's not attacking with the Willbreaker. I'm not sure that makes sense. Alright, that was not fun. <laughs> Alright, let's draw a little bit better here. I think we should be able to beat this deck. He's running 50 cards, for God's sake, right? Should be able to beat the 50 card deck. So, in order to do so, I need to, I guess, now play around 
bound. I play around bounding crisis game one, and then I get blown up by a game two. That 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 uh, I did not like that. I really did not like that. Um, yeah, I, we still don't have a sideboard. I didn't see any flyers, so let's keep it the same and try this again. All right, it's a good hand. Got to keep that. I think we start with the That's a good question actually. What do we start with? Probably cleric of the forward order. Wouldn't mind a pump spell to be honest, but if I play Leaf Gilder, what are the chances I can attack with it next turn? We haven't seen any two drops yet of our opponent. The reason to play a Leaf Gilder here is basically because if I draw another two drop, I get to play two two drops, which I think is significantly better. All right. Sadly, he did have a two drop this time, and one that I would have attacked into with Cleric of the Forward Order. So that just didn't pan out the way I wanted, but that's all right. Let's... Uh, could attack... With Leaf Killer, I think I just play Chief of the uh, Foundry rather and just pass. I really just want a pump spell. Not having a pump spell here is just absolutely brutal. Because I can't even safely attack into a Bounding Crisis now. Um, which is really frustrating because we have Double Might of the Masses, Titanic Growth, Celestial Flare. Um, and Suppression Bonds is the one we have in hand, but it's like the least useful against Bounding Crisis, which I just don't like. I guess I play Cleric and Pass. If he plays Bounding Crisis, okay. I just don't want to attack into a Bounding Crisis. Well, we had Disperse instead. All right, well, that's actually not that bad. Would prefer if my opponent tapped out so I could more safely attack in. Or I drew a Pump Spell. Either of those options would work. Um, let's play Chief first in case he has... Because I feel like, although I can play Hanger back first, can't I? Yeah, actually that's fine. Because we can pay for Clash of Wills here. We can't, play, we can't do anything about the Pwn to Ash. This plays around Clash of Wills. We're not going to play around Clash of Wills with the Chief, though. Alright, looks like... Why would you counter? Okay, so I don't understand my opponent. I could have attacked there, but I don't want him to draw the card when he gets to untap and play. I like that a lot less. So I'm guessing he has claustrophobia. Otherwise, I really don't see a reason why he would. Um, we're just going to take two. Really don't understand a reason why he would not counter Hanger Back Walker, but... Alright, finally, there we go. That, that's actually just a absolutely splendid draw. Since now I'm just not intimidated by Bounding Crisis anymore. And he didn't even have it. Played around it needlessly. What a fool I am. What a fool. What the? My mind's blown right now. I don't know what's going on.
I should have just suppression bonds the servitor, but we'll do this instead. I mean, sadly, the thing that bums me out is how badly... I'm making the trade here, by the way. I'm not casting a combat trick. The thing that bums me out is how bad Willbreaker is going to be against us, but I just don't seem to have something for it. and response just digging for that uh, naturalist that would be the ideal one still has dispersed mana up but we're not going to play around it could just suppression bombs guess I'm playing titanic growth for barrier or I, I could do the bonds plus the lieutenant I think I do that actually. Just disperse for days. Send to sleep. And he does have the he has the goods. I mean, at the very least, he played Send to Sleep pre Willbreaker. So that's good. Nice thing is, I'm not worried about Bounding Crisis. So I think we play the Titanic Growth. It's going to end up doing less than Mighty the Masses, I think. Although, at this point, I'm not worried about mana. But, uh, no, I guess we do. Because if I get Naturalist, maybe I even want to blow up the Hangerback Walker instead of the Claustrophobia. I could see that. Let's play Titanic Growth here. Still had more. More, more gas. All right. Well, opponent had the goods. Don't know what to say. Opponent had the goods. So trade a disperse for a titanic growth. Not the worst. Now the question is, does he have even more gas? It's actually a good draw. Could have just attacked with the knight and followed up with Sky Snare Spider, but I'm more curious if he has even more tricks. I can pay for a Clash of Wills there too, which is impressive. What do we got? Titanic Growth doesn't do it. <laughs> the third? Third Disperse? All right, I'm officially surprised. That's a lot of disperses. All right. Play the spider. Don't have a good attack here. I swing with everything. He blocks four power guy. Yeah, it's not enough. All right. Pilgrimage. Least of our worries. Well, I 
think we swing for the fences here. Probably going to lose our lieutenant, but we'll see. Maybe he actually has to trade off the spider. Okay. All right. I mean, it's pretty tolerable. We get renowned. We get damage to follow up with a recluse. Which admittedly is not that exciting. But we can pay for a Clash of Wills. All right, ended up winning the match. That deck played really well for my opponent. I think that deck was, I underestimated it. Uh, a 50 card deck, triple disperse, send to sleep, bone to ash. He really didn't have much going on. Well, the Bounding Crisis was a blowout game too. Like, Bounding Crisis straight up won him game two. Like 100%, I think Bounding Crisis won him game two. Um, this game... We, we managed to draw the combat tricks in time, um, which are our only line of defense against the Bounding Crisis. But even with the combat tricks, we got dispersed. We got two of our tricks dispersed away, which is pretty crazy. So that in itself was, was pretty interesting. Um, but we ended up taking it in the end, which is nice. And uh, wow, we were a while away from, uh, well... Sentinel would have been good, but Willbreaker would have been a uh, destroyer, I imagine. Uh, Disperse, though, not that good with Willbreaker, as it turns out. Um, unless it said, you may return, then it would be good. But no, Bounded Crisis is great with Willbreaker. Uh, Send to Sleep, obviously great. It won him that game. Um, what else did we see out of him that's good with it? He used our own grasp with the Hieromancer. Yeah, that was the embarrassing one. Um, all right. Still, way, way closer match than I was expecting it to be. We'll see in round two.